Hello! Alright, I have uh, something different today. This is not a Sudoku. Um, I'm going to look at a regionless star battle. So this one uh, caught my attention. I've never actually seen a regionless star battle before. Um, this is called Battlestar by Meep. Um, and it's very simple rules. Um, so if you're familiar with star battle, it's pretty similar to that, except there's no regions. Um, so each row and column must contain exactly two stars. Uh, so you could have two stars like that. Um, and stars cannot touch each other. They can't be adjacent this way. They also can't touch each other diagonally. Uh, so if you get a star right there, for example, you can X out all the cells around it. Uh, and that's, that's all the rules. Um, uh, oh, and then there's the black regions here that the, the black cells can't contain stars, basically. So, I guess you could argue the black is a region, but essentially it's a regionless star battle with certain cells that you can't put stars in. And that's it. That's that's the whole thing. Uh, it seems like it wouldn't have a unique solution. And I guess that's kind of what caught my eye, is I thought, hmm, this looks interesting. Uh, a bunch of people have solved it, so I feel pretty confident it does have a unique solution. Uh, or somebody probably would have said something, so... I'm going to give it a try. I'll leave a link in the description where you can try it out yourself. And uh, if you want to know a little more about Star Battle, um, I'll also include a link to uh, a previous video I did about Star Battle. So I'm um, going into some more of the strategies for Star Battle and such. So, all right, I'm going to give it a shot now. Now, <clears throat> so obviously in row two here, we only have two cells that can be stars. So, so we kind of get... Uh, a little bit of a, a freebie start there. Uh, and, oh, okay, and that's going to give us some freebies over here as well. Now, what's... Oh, we can... Oh, we can also... And you got to click right in the middle of the cell or else it does a dot. Okay. There we go. Now... So that was the easy part. <laughs> now, let's see. What do we do after this? So, we've got to have two stars here, two stars down here, so that's two here. So I guess we've got to kind of, you can kind of do maybe, maybe sort of a region type of thing. Um, you know... Kind of so. If you think of like a four, a two by two area, right? You can only have one star in each two by two block. Because if you put a star here, it's going to take up all the other three. Wherever you put a star in there, it's going to take up. You know, it's going to eliminate the other cells. Now you you can't quite extend it as far as like a two by three because you could do something like this in a two by three area. But in a 2x2, two two, you can only have one star. So maybe we can look... Right, so let's look at row 4 and 5, kind of in tandem here, right? We need four stars total in those two rows, because two per row, obviously. So we can put one... Uh, here, I'm going to do some coloring, maybe? Nope. How do I get to coloring? Uh, oh, I gotta scroll up for a minute. There we go. Okay. Uh, so we could do one there, one there, one in this box in the middle. So there's gonna have to be one over here. Uh, let's see. Maybe we need to look. What about this right here? We can do one there. Right, there we go. So these two columns. Um, if we go column four and five, we need four stars in there. Right, so there can be one in this yellow, one in this white two by two, another in this yellow. So the fourth one has to be right there, which is going to eliminate these. That's going to give us a star, uh, a domino there, essentially. 
Yep, which is going to have a, yep, yep, it's going to carry on down. So all of those like that. Now, let's see. Let's see, can I, I'm going to try and adjust this, see if I can make that. Nope, that's not going to work, is it? I'm trying not to. There we go. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm just going to have to scroll up to switch to the colors, I guess. That'll be okay. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna erase those colors. We'll go back to our star battle thing. So, I've got one there. These four now. Oh, now that we've eliminated right. So now we can come back up here to rows four and five. We're gonna have one over here, one over here. This is three. The fourth one has to be right there. So two. There's got to be one down here. Oh, we have to have two. All right, maybe we can do the same kind of thing over here. So we need, right, right. So we need four in these two columns right here. These are what, seven and eight, column seven and eight. And so they're going to have to be kind of in dominoes every other like this. And now that we've got a star and a domino, we can fill in the X's, there's going to be a domino here. The two dominoes are going to give us an X there. There's going to be one in each of these two by twos down here, but we can't quite turn those into, oh, but we've got, right, we've got dominoes here too, don't we? Yeah, yeah, and same down here. So because we have two dominoes, uh, a domino being a one by two area that has to have a star in it, since we've got two of those, that is, that's where the two stars will be in the row, so we can X out the rest of the row. So, there's going to be two of them over here, one over here. Oh, okay. So, yeah, right here in this uh, column six, we already have a star. So, one of these two cells down here has to have a star in it. Either way, it's going to eliminate both of those cells which is going to give us stars over here. We can eliminate some more uh, right there, which now gives us a star right here in this column, which means the two stars in the far column have to be those two. This star up here gives us a couple of X's. Uh, now for the row, to finish the row, we put a star there. Now, just a little bit left. How do we finish this off then? So, oh, right, because the domino here. So the other one has to be right there. That'll give us an X and a star. And that star gives us an X there, which gives us the final one in this row, which finishes off column two. And now to finish column six here, we've got to put a star there. That's going to give us that star. And there we go. Solution is correct. Hooray. All right, that was actually pretty cool. I'm, it's really surprising that that has a unique solution. Uh, I, Yeah, looking at it, I never would have guessed that that had a unique solution. Okay, so that was Battlestar by Meep. It was a lot of fun. Um, nice short one today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if, you, if you're not familiar with Star Battle, you should check it out. It's a fun puzzle type. I enjoy them. Uh, I've actually made a few uh, Star Battle Sudoku hybrids as well, and those can get really uh, interesting but complicated. Um, a lot of work to set those actually as well, um, just because of the, you end up with irregular regions, and irregular region Sudokus can be kind of complicated uh, and easy to break. So, um, all right, check out some more Star Battles. I'll leave some links in the description maybe to where some more Star Battle puzzles are, and uh, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.